Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the shave den and it's time for another shave. I am way behind. I got caught up in some home improvement projects. Uh, we got a new driveway placed, had to have the reinforced steel put in. Uh, when working on uh, sealing uh, our fence, our wooden fence, you guys who have wooden fences, you know, especially if you're in Texas or in the you know mid mid United States, those things dry out. You got to keep sealer on them. You got to you know doing all this. So it's been a heck of a week, but uh, we're back and we're here, and I need a shave very badly. I've got a couple of new items. One's a new and improved item, and one is a new item to me at least. Uh, the soap. The soap from American Vintage Soap Company. It is so cool to see another uh, USA uh, soap company, and uh, it's probably been here for a little while, but uh, uh, somebody had mentioned it to me and said that they have good products, and I thought, hey, I gotta give this a try. Comes in the, the usual jars, plastic jars, and this is the classic. So what they did is they took the classic barbershop scent, and then they took out, I think, the bay rum and the uh, talc powder smell and they put in more citrusy citrusy scent so it's got a fresh take on a on the barbershop we're going to be trying that out today then from superior cuts shave company superior i've got looking reading at the back made in croatia i did about two months ago there was by the way this is the this is the razor Look at that. It's uh, blue, uh, 3D printed, and I have the blue transparent. They've done some updates. They're using a different type of plastic now. They've slowed down the process to get tighter tolerances, and uh, they made a few changes, and they have these colors available. So, hang on one second. <laughs> Dentist office calling. I forgot I had a dental appointment on Monday at 8 o'clock. So anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out today. And it has uh, three plates, uh, different tolerances. And this is a hybrid model that has an open comb and a closed comb. So we're going to be using this today. I kind of like that transparent blue. And it's uh, like 30 bucks. You know, it's not too expensive. I don't know the... Uh, durability. don't know how long it's going to last, but I've had no problems with the other unit. But the other unit was just gray, plain gray. It's nice to see that they have different plastics. And I'm going to be using, for the blade, Persona Lab Blue. Now, I'm also going to go take you back to the 90s. Lagerfeld Photo Aftershave. Man, I love this stuff, and I haven't used it in a while. I was looking through my, my vintage collection, and I go, man, let's put some, uh, you know, we're talking about classic soap. Let's talk about some classic old school uh, aftershave. We'll be doing that, and I'm going to be using my first Samoog Owner's Club brush I ever purchased, and a wooden handle. We're going to be using that today. So let's put that in the crystal skull. Get it ready. And while that's soaking, let's take apart the uh, razor. It's got a very long threaded bolt on that. Pull this apart. Very tight tolerance. Coming apart just like that. Let me get one of the personas. Changing up the... Uh, the blades a little. Man. All right. Let's get that blade out of there. Very good. Put it on the cap. Like I said, very tight tolerances. She's locked in. Good. Don't want to strip the thread. There we go. Now you don't ever want to strip a plastic thread. Locked into place. And like I said, this is the, the mid-range. So it's a little more aggressive. I haven't used the, f the fully aggressive one. We're just going to be using that. All right. And I'm going to have to... Uh, 
I don't want him. The jar is a little small to mix the soap in. It's a nice, nice, soft soap. I'm going to use the uh, Captain's Choice mug there. And I think I have, I was looking for my scoop. My 50 pence piece is pretty dirty. Scoop out some soap. Nice scent. Put the soap right there. And I probably should use some pre-shave, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it does. All right. Wet the face. I had a little soap on my hand. <laughs> oh, there. That'll help with pre-shave for sure. <laughs> All right. Some little owner's club brush. Oh, and it comes in, the, like I said, comes in the nice box here with the instructions. And it's available on uh, Etsy and eBay. Oh man, the soap lathers up quick. Probably had too much water in that brush though. We'll see. Yeah, I had too much water. Oh, very nice, Sam. much soap, right? It smells good, but you don't want it up your nose. All right, let's try the open comb section. Hear the feedback? it down. Now let's try the clothes comb. Left a little. I think for the longer beard, I'm going to have to uh, start with a clothes comb. Let's do a quick overpass there. Oh yeah. The knurling's nice, it's sharp, can hang on to it. And the soap's very smooth. I guess it is nice you have a choice. That's not the first razor company to give you a choice either. Which is nice to have. That was about five days growth. Knocking it down. And I'm not too used to these blades yet. Okay, definitely going to need a second pass. Oh, yeah, the soap's very good. Back 
fact, it's getting uh, slicker as the water evaporates. All right, I'm going to use the clothes comb section now. I cut myself here earlier, and it still hasn't healed. So I probably irritated it. Very nice. First time using it. No complaints. I get dry skin on my cheeks, makes them all pink. I should be wearing sunblock a lot more. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, 1990. Ooh. Nice burn, nice scent. We're back in business. All right. Links to these products you can find in the description of this video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We should get back into the uh, rhythm. I should be getting a couple out a week again. Uh, hopefully <laughs> finish up the house projects and we can move forward. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for your subscriptions. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now.